Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine. This is Just Ben Catherine. Today I'm going to show you how to style the inside of a dresser using project paper. If you have not seen my previous video of me upcycling a 10 year old dresser, make sure you check that one out first. This video is a part of my renovation series where I am decorating our second bedroom and turning it into our office using DIYs and affordable decorations. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you will not miss any of the videos that I upload. Okay, let's jump right into it. This is a very well overdue lining that's been in this dresser for over a decade. So we're gonna remove it and replace it with something else because the wood underneath had potential, but I just wanted to bring life to this dresser. I will be adding project paper. This is an all purpose paper that I got on sale for only $3. So you can use this on like lamps, desk, walls, or inside of a dresser like I am. This material is kind of durable and flimsy. So think scrapbook paper and cardstock paper. Just flimsy. I hope that makes sense. So first we're going to measure by placing the floral print along the inside. And then you're going to crease the corner for the fine line. I'm duplicating the number of pieces I'll need to cover the bottom of the drawer and I just use tape to hold it up there. And I don't know if you can see it but I have a little bit of excessive amount left on the right side so I just use an exacto knife to cut it off. To make this process go faster, take however many pieces you have for your first drawer, so like here I have three, and duplicate it for the number of drawers you have. I'm taking my Mod Podge and putting a thin coat over the area the piece will lay. Don't try to cover up the entire bottom before laying the pieces because there will be a chance you'll have to shift the paper um, for either bubbles or to straighten it. Now spread a thin piece of Mod Podge over the back of the project paper for double security. Like that's the best thing about Mod Podge. You can use it as like a glue and a seal. So this is what I mean when I mentioned earlier that you'll have to move your paper because I had bubbles underneath it so I needed to crease out those bubbles. And don't forget the edges of the drawers too. And any overlapping parts to prevent rolling. Final step is to secure the project paper by adding a thin layer of Mod Podge over the top. Let's take a look at this before and after. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was so much fun and now it looks amazing and beautiful. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram at JustBeingCatherine if you have not already because I do a lot of behind the scenes on that page. I'm so glad you came to this channel. Thank you for coming along. As always, we'll talk again.